you guys remember the video where we got scammed by a Walmart seller? Well, today they're supposed to be making it right with us. Yeah, they're supposed to be coming to the store in the next like, well, 40 minutes and bringing us the right computer. And we're a little bit confused on what this exactly means. Why are they coming to our shop? I don't know, but we have to pay some bills first and hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of your unactivated Windows install on your gaming PC? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall has you covered. GVG Mall is an online marketplace to gain access to really awesome some discounted game keys, and more specifically, as we mentioned, Windows 10 licenses. It is incredibly easy to get your Windows 10 or 11 activation key from GVG Mall. Just use code TB20 to get a special discount, and then all you have to do is take that code, put it into Windows, and boom, you have an activated Windows copy. We have been working with GVG Mall for several years now, and we love the reliability of all the products they have to offer, so be sure to check the link in the description down below. Use code TB20 to save on your next purchase of a Windows key or other product from GVG Mall. So just a quick background story. We bought this PC from Walmart for around $269 and it was sold by a company called SJ Computers. But then if you look, we got this BTO computer and it did not fit the description. It was not even the same PC. And so we basically released the YouTube video. Next thing you know, we get a phone call over at PC Bros from what we believe to be Blair Technology, which we don't think is BTO, but we don't know that. And they basically said, guys, that was a scam. We're gonna bring you the right PC. And we said, cool. And now here we are. Because if you remember, Remember from that video, I reached out to the SJ customer support where they told me, well, you got the upgraded version of the PC. Don't worry about it not being the PC that was pictured. Um, but from what I heard from our PC Bros support team who got the phone call, they're basically telling us that Blair is dealing with this company, SJ Computers, basically misinterpreting their products, doing listings by stealing their pictures. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused on the whole situation, but we're going to let them explain when they show up at the computer and then just kind of get to the bottom of this and decide whether or not SJ computers at fault here or if there's a bigger backstory to this. We'll just go into our film room. We can just talk about stuff and just kind of explain the whole situation and what's going on. Because I know Jake relayed most of it to us, but yeah, yeah. questions just to see. We lost what's most going. of it in translation. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but yeah, we can go over it for sure. Well, welcome. So uh, we kind of introduced our audience to the situation. Obviously, they saw the video where we got this computer and it wasn't what we pictured it to be. And really, you guys reached out because you are dealing with a problem with this seller. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to elaborate more on what's going on with that? For sure. So. A lot of times on e-commerce marketplaces, uh, you'll have multiple sellers selling the same product. And generally that's okay if you're selling like a Dell 9020 or 7010 or whatever, they're all basically the same and you're just kind of selling the same product. But what we've tried to do and a lot of competitors are doing is adding RGB elements to these basic desktops. Mm -hmm. And the thing that we have done that's unique in the space is we've actually custom made a faceplate that is unreplicatable, and that was the purpose, was to make it exclusive so that competitors could not jump on it and start taking that, you know, the share away from us. So actually, Ethan here is the guy who designed it and he put that product together for us. So one thing that the biggest confusion is, this company, well, the branding BTO, is that the company <laughs> SJ Computers? It is. Okay, yeah, so. It, they're, that, they're connected. So they're connected, okay. So basically what they were doing was taking the image, the design that you all have, put it on the listing, and then when we reached out to them and they were like, oh, that's just an upgraded version, it was really, they just didn't have that design you all made. It's not, yeah, that's not true. So, yeah, so here, here we made the listing. We mm -hmm. took all the pictures. We wrote the copy. We mm -hmm. did all of it. We built the listing. Yeah. And then they just, they went in, they applied their own SKU and said, hey, we have that too. And they, they, they are now a seller on that listing. And this is what you guys got from that. Okay. So let's just take a moment to break down exactly what's going on here. Let's say that you want to sell a computer on Walmart and that you spend, you know, a bunch of man hours and maybe thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of your own money creating a unique case design. Congratulations, you know, well done. Maybe you've made something kind of like this right here. And you've got some good specs in there. I mean, something that'll really just make it pretty easy to sell, especially with that one of a kind case you have. But I happen to have a Dell Optiplex with, you know, similar specs. Maybe I can bump it up with a little bit of home brewery, but not a lot of work on my end. Sure, I don't have this one of a kind case you have, but you know, I'm not really here about that aesthetic or your, you know, enjoyment of the product. I'm only here for that sweet, sweet bottom line. That's right, baby. I just want that cold, hard cash. So now that you've taken this time to create an intricate listing with your one of a kind case design, I would just like to, for lack of better terms, hijack it. I'm the company now. Now the very astute of you might ask the question, well, if you don't have that same one of a kind case, then how are you gonna sell on there? And to that I say, well, who wants to stop me? Walmart or Amazon? I don't think so. A couple of clicks later, I can go ahead and sell the same product under that same listing that you made with the same pictures. And because I undercut you by about two, three cents, when you hit add to cart, 
That's my listing now. And when you get that case and you wonder, well, where's that sweet, sweet one of a kind case I was supposed to get? I'll just tell you, you got an upgrade. Don't complain. So yeah, so there, there's really, and there's no relation, right? Between you all and SJ or anything? No. Okay, that's what we figured. No. Yeah. yeah. Other than anger and frustration. <laughs> yeah. It's, no, it's I, pretty I, much the way that the marketplaces work is, you know, if they see a spec list and they're like, we have the same specs, we'll just throw it out there. Mm -hmm. And if the customers complain, you know, until Walmart or Amazon or whoever else the marketplace is gets after us, we'll just keep selling until right. we get in trouble. Right. And what that results in is, you know, if we spend a lot of money and effort into building up a listing um, &E, and basically. advertising it, yeah. and then it gets bad reviews from a seller who we have no control <laughs> over their yeah. quality or anything yeah. else, then, you know, that entire listing is tanked. And it's just kind of like a repeating cycle of, we put in most of the creative work because we actually yeah. have a creative team and companies that don't have to pay any of that mm -hmm. uh, or don't have a creative team, they don't have the overhead, they can just pretty much undercut the price and throw whatever they want out there until they get in trouble and wreck the listing and then we have to do it all over again. So. Right, you might even have people, compl have you had people complain to you all yet about like basically thinking that this is your all's computer and everything or is that I mean, not happened? usually through the reviews on the yeah. listing because yeah. we have to respond to those. So they might respond like, you know, leave a review, one star complaining about all sorts of stuff. And then we have to reach out and be like, hey, you know, it's because it wasn't us. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's what, not what's us. kind of funny is a lot of it is um, is like dust based. Yeah. Blair Tech is the number one Microsoft authorized refurbisher. Mm -hmm. They have the best process in the world. It is a, a crazy robust production set of disciplines that they go through, yeah. including deep cleaning, vinyl, skin vinyl, all that. And we've seen a lot of reviews where people are like, this was super dusty and like it when they go to look at the listing, it says Blair Tech because at that particular moment, we're on the listing yeah. for, for price or whatever reason. But it, what didn't actually come from us, it's a different oh. seller. Okay. Uh, you know, and no disrespect to people like doing it in their basements or garages, yeah. but they just don't have the same tools mm. and it shows in the product. And yeah. it can be a shared listing, but it does not mean you're gonna get the same quality that's, or product. Yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, oh yeah, one question I had that I don't even know if you guys would know because we could not find anything in the internet. What the heck is BTO? If you guys even know, like I, we couldn't find how they relate to SJ or why they have, is that like a lineup from them or like? It might just be a brand. I think it's a, br a peripheral brand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, where they're white labeling products from overseas. That's what I was kind of wondering, like almost like drop shipping basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's my guess. Yeah. Okay. They, they are definitely connected because SJ uses a ton of their peripherals. Oh yeah. But yeah. we same thing as you guys. We, we don't know exactly the yeah. inner workings of that. May, may never know, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I think it's meant to be <laughs> meant to be a little discreet. Yeah. 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 But yeah, you guys brought what was actually supposed to be yeah. that computer. Yeah. So would you mind if we did an unboxing Please on that? Please do. Yeah. yeah. The actual listing itself, did it say it came with like a keyboard and mouse or stuff? It um, did, didn't it come with a keyboard and mouse or did it not? It came it, with one in your video, yes. but yeah. the, the listing would not have advertised because we built that listing. The guy who saw that video. Uh, runs our config department, the guys who actually like build the machines. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, he had one of his guys build this one mm -hmm. completely blind, not knowing about anything. Oh, so cool. you guys would have like, oh, he nice. told me, hey, it might not be perfect because Basically, like, un I just let, yeah, yeah I just okay. had one of the guys nice. put it together. Hey, so. we, got, we got a PC selling business and yeah, yeah, trust us when we say, we understand it. It's <laughs> the worst feeling when like, you send out a computer and then you're like, oh my gosh, this is someone that's gonna be reviewing it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, yeah. I get it, I get it. So anyway, this is just this just PC and I mean, there's some like, you know, the accessory kit bag with cables and stuff in okay. it. Um, but I brought this because since the SKU itself didn't say that, you know, that it came with it, I was like, you guys reviewed something from mm -hmm. them in there. You know, I wanted the, the review to be as apples to apples as possible since you reviewed like the keyboard mouse and yeah. the PC. Yeah, yeah, no, the listing itself had nothing mentioning the peripherals at all, so. Yeah, yeah. the addition was the RGB gaming PC only. So yes. when we built this originally, it was a variation and it went from PC only all the way up to full battle station. Okay. And then what happened was this wild, wild west marketplace <laughs> that we live in on Walmart. Yeah. They So sellers jump on it and they break those variations up yeah. because they mm -hmm. know customers like the variations. Yeah. And so in order to hurt our business, they'll jump a listing and break it up. Yeah, that's, and so that's, that's, that's crazy. That's what, yeah, yeah, that's what happened that. here. And, and you guys do, um, do you sell any computers on your own like commerce website or do you only do like, you know, Walmart, Amazon, et cetera? We, we do have our own website platform, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's something that we have not branched out into, out into so we don't have to worry about that yet, yep. but yeah. if we ever did branch out, I'm Trust sure that would me, be. You, you guys are doing it. <laughs> in some good, ways, yeah, we're, we're envious of the model because yeah. it's such a headache mm -hmm. battling all these sellers. These people, yeah. When you are like the top dog in that refurbishment place, 
but anybody can jump on it and, and they don't have the investment that you do or the capital investment into the process, yeah. it hurts. It, yeah. it really well, stinks. And, and like, in a way, they almost represent you even though you don't want them to be represented. They 100% do. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And we're actually starting to put into our images like some branded images in oh, order to smart. try and yeah. yeah, in order to try and marks, yeah. help people understand like <laughs> you gotta check the seller. Take a look inside. So obviously with the one that we got there, it wasn't advertised for peripherals. We did get some, but they're very straightforward basic peripherals. So we got basic keyboard and mouse. Let's go ahead and open this. A little bit of RGB gaming action going on. A little on. RGB gaming action. But yeah, these are really good for getting people up and running, especially with these budget computers, you know, get people into uh, the space with a little bit of RGB action and solid enough keys. Not bad looking, yeah. Not bad. Flip out feet. Rubber pads keep from sliding around. Nice, nice. But yeah, these mice are also pretty solid as well. Um, but yeah, no, it's always good when they're included because at the end of the day, the uh, customer will get something to actually get the computer up and right if this, is, if this is their first computer. Yeah, I like how they actually have braided cables too. That's a big plus. I, I hate the little, like, it looks like vacuum cleaner cables, you know, where it's like, they're like serrated. One question I worst. do have, is the price the same? But yes. The, okay. the price is the same. It was one penny off. Okay. And what, what these sellers will do is they'll jump on a listing and go one to three pennies down. Yeah. Just and then they the... will own the buy box. That's crazy. Oh, wow. And so when I went to look, because I, I, yeah. I said it earlier, I wrote the copy for this. And I heard you guys comment on the um, the process, the specific processor not being in the title. Yeah. And then just how like gross the description was. It was like yeah. one big block. Yeah. When that was submitted, it, it had HTML where it broke it out and it was clean and it looked and they nice. They just took that. And they took that out. Did, didn't even edit it or anything. Right. They just, that's, yeah, that's, that's wild. So I looked at the price and it was one penny off. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so, so and you guys, in theory, you could do that, right? Like lower it by a penny again, but then they'll probably just, it's like yeah. a never ending cycle. Yeah. A I lot assume. of these sellers have what's called a repricer mm -hmm. and it will do it for them automatically. So they could <laughs> oh, just wow. be sitting back drinking coffee. That's crazy. And their repricers just- It's almost pretty. like 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 stock market buying. It's Penny like, Wars. Yeah, it's yeah. Penny yeah. Wars for sure. All okay, right. cool. So we got a, a, let's see, well, usually we talk about this stuff first. So we got a power cord, uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. That's actually cool to see. Normally you just get those really tiny ones that are usually only Wi-Fi. We get a basic user guide. And then you guys actually, uh, yeah, we got the Microsoft refurbisher on there and everything. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice looking package there for sure. All right, let's see if I drop it. <laughs> That'd be the best part. That should actually protect it. That yes. like, bubble is, I think you can stand on it and it will Yeah, no, this like, stuff's really good. good. Now I'm seeing the computer that I originally thought was on the <laughs> listing here. Wow, oh, you got it. That side panel. <laughs> yes, the side panel, yes. So, so, okay, so this is what we originally bought in the previous video. So this is what it was supposed to look like with that strip up front and the side panel cut out, which is really, I, I didn't even care about this being different. I was just mad there wasn't something cut out on the side <laughs> panel because that's just something you don't normally see with these yeah. office computers and you have to go through the effort to put that together. Um, so so how, how much work is it for you guys to, because I see like the, the carbon fiber vinyl wrap and then a pretty clean cutout that's not covered in burrs and stuff. Like, so it seems like it'd be a lot of work. Yeah, that's actually, <laughs> um, so I, I did a lot of the work on this part. Um, mm -hmm. This is actually a custom injected molded faceplate. Uh, so a lot of money oh, wow, work went okay. into this. Okay. Um, and then, you know, it has the nice little RGB uh, thing up front. You can control the LED. So there's tons of different settings that you can go through. Mm -hmm. We have vinyl plotters where we can reskin the outside of a machine. So, you know, in the refurbishing business, you often have like little dings and dents here and there. Yes. Well, yeah. We have a process where we can kind of, you know, fill those in and then we have skins put on the outside. This one is carbon fiber. Sometimes it's just like a normal kind of like black, mm -hmm. but that helps make it look all nice and brand new on the outside. Right. We have a local machine shop that's like 12, 13 minutes away who we have uh, with the water jet, like cut this out and stuff. Okay. So we uh -huh. will deliver them just the side panels mm -hmm. and uh, they'll cut that out. And then, uh, I mean, you can open it up and look at it. Yeah. The, um, you know, the acrylic itself, we get also like a quarter mile down the road, an acrylic company, we get these frosted panes from. And uh, just then, glue them on there? Uh, yeah, well, this is double-sided tape, which we, oh, cool. you know, okay. we use here. It's yeah. a, a permanent uh, double-sided tape. Nice. Nice. And then for putting the vinyl on, do you guys hand put that on after they're cut? Or? Yes. That's and crazy. let me tell you what, the people <laughs> in what we call like final prep, Mm -hmm. who do this, they're really good at it. I have yeah. tried so many times to do this and it takes yeah. me We've forever. done a lot of vinyl projects that when we look back <laughs> That's on, what we it's do. like, oh man. So I can, yeah. If you want, I can give you some tips um, off of, you know, having done it a few times and watching them do it, but yeah. it is an art. You, It takes a while to actually get fast and proficient. Yeah, for sure. And that's the best part too, is a lot of times when you were talking about it being black vinyl, I won't even notice until I get to the point where I'm like, wait, there's no scratches or dents on this. This is a 10 year old yeah. PC. Like, we, 
we buy them by the palette as well, like these PCs. So we know what they look like, what they mm -hmm. should look like. Yeah. And then when we just see the all black and it's really sleek, I'm like, okay, this has vinyl on. I'm like, dude, I didn't even like register yeah. and notice that it has vinyl. It just looks like it's part of it, you know? Yeah. We, we started doing like carbon fiber stuff uh, about a year ago and it's mm -hmm. actually just a, it's not true carbon fiber, it's just the design, but that right. vinyl is a lot more durable. Um, and yeah. it's just a pattern that, you know, changes it up, makes it look a little is this, bit more interesting. This is a 3D printed bracket, like PLA, right? Yeah, we have yeah. a whole 3D print farm and we okay. do tons of stuff to, uh, you know, and for this particular one, it's to make it so it mounts in a nice way so it, it shines on really good yeah. you know and illuminates the nice little yeah. acrylic side yeah which and that's something that if you wanted to kind of cheap out and make it a lot easier and simple you really could just try to find a way to like glue it but obviously that's not gonna yeah. look I mean, great in know? the very early days we did but this is a constant process of you know trying to make it better and addressing any customer concerns so like mm -hmm. this whole project this has been being refined over the like the last year and a half yeah nice. i believe it that's a lot of r d because it's not just you know we can make a one-off like this right if we wanted to but it's the hard part of a PC business is being able to replicate and be able to have employees that can actually handle replicating sure. that, that level of, of customization. Dude, it looks, it looks just like, it's like the Walmart picture. It's, wow, it's like it's the like picture. picture. Yeah, Wouldn't you crazy. imagine? I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, um, does this one come with a remote too? It has a, a built-in LED button. So that's another thing. Oh, that's, that, like, that's When I was really designing cool. this, I tried to keep it here because people lose remotes all the yeah. time. Yes, yes. We, so, we do. Yeah. So that's, sometimes we literally lose them before we have to ship the PC out to a customer. Yeah, that's this how, is definitely the most like advanced version of these we've seen because mm -hmm. there's a lot of them that we get that's very much like slap a strip in there. Let's just yeah. put something up front, give them a remote, a lot of mess with it. But this one, obviously, there was much more thoughtful with the stuff. So. Yeah, that's what I was looking to get at one point and actually see it, but it's really cool to see that we actually got the right one here now. Yeah, no, it's 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 even cooler that like you guys said you had someone that actually saw our video and then it turned into this like yeah, so he quickly. saw it like the day after you guys posted it. Yeah, and he just chats me. His name is Dennis. Uh, shout mm -hmm. out to Dennis. Um, I'm super glad that he saw it because like I I see your videos like recommended yeah. every once in a while. Um, but I wouldn't have caught this very quickly. But we yeah. have probably an army of like at least 30 or 40 gamers who are all keeping track of like mm. stuff that's going on in the industry. Yeah, and that's one of them good. picked up on this and I was like, <laughs> dude, great find, like all caps. <laughs> I was like, let me see if I can do something. And then of course, like I'm, I'm like commenting on your video yeah. and like calling yeah, you it guys. Was, it was funny, that's what, so I was, I would think I was at the gym and I got a call from Jake who's up front at PC Bros. And he's like, hey man, so that Walmart PC you guys did, which you know, in, in my mind, I'm like, okay, the title's like scam, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, yeah, the owners of that company are calling. And I'm like, oh God, like what's, what did we do? What did we do wrong? You know, but then he's like, oh, they just want to come give you the right PC. It's not the, that was some other person. I'm like, oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. This has never happened before. I know we kind of briefly opened this. What are the actual, is this, um, I know it's an iSeries, but what exactly, if, if you know off the top of your head, what we get with this? It should be exactly what the listing said. So I believe it's a 6500, okay. you know, i5 6500, or maybe a 6600, because mm -hmm. they're pretty much the same. It's like 100 yeah. megahertz or higher, like clock speed on one of them. Okay. And it no, should yeah, be just... a dual dual drive, 500 gig SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, it's definitely, definitely looks, uh, looks good. I mean, and the, this one honestly didn't even look bad. It was just once we opened it and we're like, holy dust, dude. Like, it's crazy that like, you know, in, in the listing, it's like refurb, right? And I think mm -hmm. it didn't the listing even say something about being like, there was something that caught our eye about it being like new. Oh, you know, it was something like, like um, I don't know about that. Reimagine? Re reimagine, and reimagine. Yeah. Refresh yeah. and reimagine. <laughs> but, but it was like not even cleaned or anything. And I'm like, yes. what, yeah, what's, yeah. Re what's reimagined about so it? So you, you had commented on that and yes. I totally understood and laughed. Yes. <laughs> Is yeah, this, this, this constitute yes. reimagined? Yes. Oh, yeah. For this, yeah. this, I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. what? Yeah, yes. and, now, and now with this, I assume they're just getting acrylic cutouts and just slapping them on. That, this you can buy shelf. that. Yeah, that's you, can what buy that. you can buy that off okay. of Amazon. Mm -hmm. This is like I mean, very, five digit yeah. investment. Yeah, very because custom. Because this is, this, this particular thing, I spent probably nine months mm -hmm. working on this. Right. Um, you know, back and forth. Uh, it's it's way more involved than like getting something off the shelf and then silk printing your name on it. But no, I, I would say in terms of happiness, we're good. Ten, ten out of ten. Yes, yeah. very happy that yeah. this whole saga has been. Uh, it's, solved, it's definitely something but... that you guys didn't have to do. You could have just said that wasn't our listing. Like, don't blame us, but and yes. then not said. It. And we we would have said, sure. I mean, that's fair. But the fact that you guys came all the way down here, you know, means a lot. Yeah, yeah. So we we're, do we're in the that. same space, and we. we we have a lot of respect for you guys, yeah. and uh, we wanted to have some fun. Yeah, and we wanted to fix, you know, the the image yeah. from the listing of what you know 
your audience might think about it. We wanted yeah. to show like trying to get this it is out a totally there. different product. Yeah. And like what they did was, you know, we're we're aggressive with our language, but it's like almost criminal. Like, yeah. We feel like it's almost criminal yeah. to yeah. defraud, you know, customers something like this. Like that's a very different computer. It's also it's almost it's, like offensive to you all too with the amount of like work and time you put into it. And then just to instantly have someone just go yoink. Yeah. <laughs> offensive yeah. is the right word. Yeah, criminal is. is way dramatic and <laughs> it's over the top. Offensive is the right word. Yeah. Well, I do hope. Um, so you guys said you reached out to Walmart. Did you hear anything about? I'm assuming it's a really bad cool. customer support, but do you think that'll go? They're anywhere? actually using your all's video, so they they well, had to they had to move it up the ladder. The guy, our rep, <laughs> our video is getting passed around. It is. <laughs> it is. But we were showing them like, hey, look at you know this community. They care yeah. about this stuff. And yeah. like, sure, there's some hardware upgrades you could you could argue. But it's also the aesthetic is totally different. Mm -hmm. And when yeah. someone buys a computer, especially when there's RGB involved, the aesthetic obviously matters to that yes. person. They should just be their own individual listings. Like you guys yeah. shouldn't have to buy with people. Yeah, that happens to us all the time actually where people take like things that we didn't and put it on their own listing. Like if we do a review of something, you know, and they'll be like, uh, like that'll just be in the listing. We're like, wait, that's us. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. What do you guys do about that? that? Happens. We normally so, actually don't care. Most I mean, of the time I don't care if yeah. it's a company that we've worked with before, but there are times where it's ones where, I know larger channels deal with this a lot, where they get like, they pull snippets from the videos and use it as really strong recommendations. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it was really just like a, a blip from a video <laughs> yeah. that may not even yeah. be that strong and they'll put it on their website without permission. We don't care if the company reaches out and is like, hey, we loved your review. We'd love to put it on a, uh, our Amazon listing or website. Do you care? And for the most part, we're fine with that. But, yeah. 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 But if it's like something that we like were bashing and they took one blip, we're like, <laughs> it's good. And then they just put that on there and it's like, oh, well, and I don't really know what you one. said was, it's good you didn't buy this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yes. like, thanks for stretching our word. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys, well, their team just left and that went actually really well. We didn't really know what to expect. And overall, this was a really cool learning experience. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that we had no clue was happening. And this just comes to show that just because you go to buy something and you see that it's a great price, watch those sellers, guys, because a lot of times you're not gonna get what you paid for. At the end of the day, it seems to be that Walmart is the biggest issue when it comes to these listings. So hopefully Walmart is learning about this stuff and working on making this easier so sellers like Peripherio or Blair Tech will not have to deal with companies like SJ taking these pictures and basically put them in a position where their name is getting hurt because of sending computers that weren't listed. So let us know what you think of this video. Was this informational to you guys? And would you like to see us explore these RGB office PCs a bit more? Let us know in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye so these two pcs right here will not be for sale because this one already sold and this one we got to bring back so that does mean there's plenty of other pcs for you to choose from at pcbros.tech pcbros.tech gaming pcs gaming laptops and so much more use code toasty bros to check out you'll save two percent <laughs> your next purchase see you guys later goodbye it's been a day we don't guys. redo those we, we don't, don't redo, redo those, those.